Hello, I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome to my channel. So why is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service planning on shooting a bunch of owls? So glad you asked, because it's complicated. It's true, odd as it might sound, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, or what I will call U.S. Fish and Wildlife, has a plan in place to kill off roughly half a million owls over the next 30 years. Now, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is one of the federal agencies in charge with protecting natural resources, protecting animals and plants, protecting species. So it seems slightly counterintuitive that they would go out and shoot a bunch of them. Well, what's going on? Well, it has to do with this specific owl and another specific owl. The specific owl that's being targeted is the barred owl. Barred owls are native to the eastern United States, and they are quite common. There are lots of them. And they're expanding. As humans have disturbed some of their habitat back east, but also more significantly, have planted trees across the Great Plains. The barred owl has expanded its range. The barred owls love deciduous forests, mixed forests. They're actually really good in a lot of different kinds of forests. They like trees. So they were really delighted to find all this new habitat opening up across the sort of center part of North America and they took advantage of it. They expanded their range westward. Interesting in its own right. Problematic when we talk about the other owl in this story. The other owl is the spotted owl. Spotted owls are found in the western US. They are not nearly as numerous as the barred owl. They are more specialized in the types of habitats they like. They are more sensitive to human disturbance. And as these eastern owls, the um, barred owls, expanded and came in contact with the spotted owls, there was some conflict. Barred owls are a bit bigger than spotted owls, so they can just sort of physically overpower them. They're also temperamentally more aggressive than the spotted owl. This causes a lot of problems. So one is direct exclusion. Barred owls will sometimes come in and just drive spotted owls out of a habitat, out of an area. Sometimes this can include predation. Barred owls have been known, at least on occasion, to eat spotted owls. And just to make things extra interesting, the two species are very closely related. In fact, they're so genetically close that they can hybridize. And so sometimes barred owls will come into an area and mate with hybridized with spotted owls, creating something called a sparred owl, hybrid of a spotted owl and a barred owl. And since they are bigger and more aggressive and more generalist and more tolerant of disturbance and more numerous, the barred owl kind of has a lot of advantages and the spotted owl is suffering as a result of this. Their numbers are going down and so their population isn't looking so great. Many different practices have been put in place to try to deal with this. Uh, there are timber harvest practices that tend to favor spotted owls and tend to discourage barred owls. So those are certainly in place over millions of acres of the West. Uh, but that's not it. And that alone doesn't quite seem to be enough. So there's another plan. This plan has been kicked around for quite a while now, at least since 2009, at least it's been discussed, to go out and actually shoot barred owls, to remove them from territories, remove them from core breeding areas, remove them from competition from spotted owls by directly killing them off. 
I've written about this a few times in my blog, and I will be honest, when I first heard this idea, I thought, ridiculous, never gonna work, dumb idea, waste of time, waste of money, waste of effort, forget it, dumb. But there was actually a pilot program that was run to remove some barred owls from a few test spots, two in Washington, one in Oregon, and one in Northern California. And over the course of those plots, 90 owls were removed, and sure enough, spotted owls bounced back. Spotted owls very quickly reoccupied nesting areas where the bards had been removed. They continued to occupy places where bards were starting to intrude and were killed off. So it seems, it seems like a workable solution, sort of. I mean, part of the problem is with a continually advancing, increasing population of barred owls, killing off a few barred owls is not going to be much of a long-term solution. We have a very short-term fix, which means to keep this going, while it may be effective, it has to be continuous effort. So that's challenging. That's, that's going to be hard. Not impossible, but hard. Scaling this, this pilot project up to what the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is currently thinking about, 30-year program, many more owls removed, it is going to be a big endeavor. But it may be what is needed to save the spotted owl. Now, I'll acknowledge, this is not a, a morally clear decision. I mean, either way, we're going to be doing some harm. Either way, we humans are going to be responsible for some harm. Either we sit back and, in large part due to our actions, allow these barred owls to continue spreading across the continent and basically out-competing, eating, or breeding out the spotted owl to the point where the spotted owl will no longer exist. And that's a loss of biodiversity. That is a loss of an evolutionary lineage in its own right. Or we take action and we kill some barred owls. Maybe quite a few of them. Both are a form of harm. Which is the right call? It's kind of debatable. I will say that due to the population sizes of these two species, from kind of a species population level saving biodiversity scale, the barred owl is in absolutely no danger of extinction. Even if we remove half a million barred owls from the western US, there are going to be so many barred owls on the continent, back east, they're going to be just fine. There is no risk that we're going to drive this species to extinction. Whereas there is a very real risk that if we do nothing, the spotted owl will go extinct. So I think that kind of tips the balance in the favor of killing off those barred owls. But there is a lot of complications, a lot of nuance. It's going to be an interesting project to watch roll out. If you want to read my sort of evolving thoughts on the subject, I, like I said, I've read about, I've written about it several times on my blog. I'll link some of those posts in the description below. And, you know, in the comments, let me know what you think about this. What do you think about the idea of humans stepping in to directly harm one species in order to save another? What do you think of humans' need or lack thereof of kind of stepping up and taking responsibility for a problem that we kind of created? Like I said, we planted a bunch of trees across the central part of the U.S. That allowed this expansion of the barred owls, allowed them to come in contact with the spotted owls, allowed this whole situation to develop. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this whole mess, the problem, the issue it's, that, that has arisen, the potential solutions that are involved? Love to know your thoughts. As always, thank you very much for the view. Until next time, enjoy the natural world.